Tornado risk for tonight, Nathan? Um, this is what it looks like? So this is the HER, this is the 18Z HER, it came out this afternoon, so it may not be exactly how things are going to work out, but I think what we need to point out is the tornado risk continues to go up. So this is 4 o'clock, and what you're looking at is the environment on which any storm that develops in that environment could produce a tornado according to what you're seeing here on the legend. So there's that line of storms. According to this, 4 o'clock, the best chance of a storm to try to produce a tornado is in the South Arkansas. So let's go ahead and continue to advance this, getting into 5, 6 o'clock. That tornado risk, the oranges and reds, continue to creep their way up into Central Arkansas as we have a cell, looks like it could be a supercell, trying to develop somewhere in Saline County or Pulaski County. So that is definitely concerning. And then getting into 6 o'clock, that line continues to advance to the east. The tornado risk continues to go up into East Arkansas. If there's any cells that develop in that part of the state, they could certainly be at risk of producing a strong tornado. And we continue to see that tornado risk remain in place as this line is slowly advancing its way off to the east. Once the line clears your county, you're done with the threat of severe weather for the rest of of the evening into the overnight hour. So here in Little Rock, it looks like eight, nine o'clock time frame. We should be done with the threat of severe weather, but that severe weather threat continues to be the case going into Arkansas County and also into Southeast Arkansas. So anything along this line and south of this line in Southeast Arkansas will need to be watched closely for the potential of tornadoes, large hail, and also damaging wind gusts. Here's 10 o'clock. Nothing really changes in the southeast Arkansas. With this line, we'll also have to watch out for flash flooding concerns, especially if it's just rounds of heavy rain going over the same location. That's known as training, and you could get easily two to four inches of rain, which could lead to some flash flooding issues across parts of the state. That tornado watch is in effect for south Arkansas, southeast Arkansas, and east Arkansas until midnight tonight, Tom. And we just have several things to watch. And when we go back to the radar, we are still watching little cells. They don't look too bad right now, but we have to watch them like a hawk because as they continue to push their way off to the north, every five, 10 minutes, the environment, the atmosphere is starting to change and it's gonna be more in the favor of these storms able to exhibit more rotation and also become strong to severe to potentially intense.